Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. Uh, this is the series uh, in which uh, we are making notes app and uh, in this video we will uh, move our data to uh, repositories. So first of all let's see uh, how we are currently managing our data. So currently in our home view model we have a list of uh, nodes uh, which we are representing on ui and whenever we need to add any new node then we need we add uh, that node in that in this list and uh, so this is how we are managing things at uh, this stage so 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 uh, we need to uh, extract uh, this uh, data managing to somewhere else so for that we need to extract that into a separate class uh, so for for data purpose that separate class named as a repository so the purpose of repository is to manage the in and out of data so whenever we need any kind of data uh, then we request the repositories to provide us the data and whenever we want to add or update any uh, in data then we request to repository that please update that data in the data source whatever it can be it can be a local database it can be a server it can be a shared preference or anywhere on the web so repository provide us the information and also pro facilitate us to update that information so we will create another package for that repository named as nodes repository it's just a simple class it will contains our list of uh, data so our items would be and also provide us to get that data and uh, uh, update that data as well so currently we haven't implemented the um, room database yet so we are managing with in memory array list so let's define few functions here to get get all and this will return all the items and uh, Next is insert the item. So what we will do is insert that item into our list. Actually this would be like this not model okay so now we will create uh, get the create the instance in our home view model Nodes repository and uh, we use init method to initialize our this nodes list first of all we need to remove this one from here and uh, get the items from repository get all and insert those items in the nodes which we are nodes list 
which we are presenting in our UI. Let's many rename this to nodes list and uh, add all items. So, so this is it. So let's uh, uh, see. Uh, so let's run the app and see the effect. Okay, so our uh, nodes uh, are showing as uh, expected. So rep our repository is working perfectly. So the next thing that we need to do is uh, that uh, uh, we also want to access our uh, nodes in our add new node sc screen. So in add new node view model, we will uh, declare a private data member for repository as well. So what we want to do is uh, actually uh, we have uh, defined the repository uh, instance here. So what we want to do is whenever user tap on any node then on the next screen show the detail of that node. So for that uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, pass that uh, uh, actually we have the repository here so we just want to use that repository to represent certain data which we want to present to user on add node screen which would be a detail of the node so for that we need to pass uh, that information to our next screen so in our main activity we define some parameter here add node with id and uh, and in here uh, when uh, we want to actually we also define that uh, this would be an integer value so first of all route arguments would be a list of argument now argument id So the type would be nav type integer and default value would be minus one and what we need to do is uh, when user tap on any item then we want to uh, more provide that item id to our ne next screen so for that on our home view model we have a method last item on click in this item we will create route like this add node and id and navigate to next screen so so there is an e there is an event that we need to send from our view model to our home screen ui so from there we can uh, navigate to next screen next screen so for that we need to define some events here
navigate next event which would be inherit from this field class and what we're gonna do is we define a shared data member event flow here which would be a shared flow which would be a mutable shared flow and expose, ex, uh, expose the yeah, this would be private and expose the public variant of it which would be a shared flow only which will be a immutable version of shared flow because we don't want to allow anyone to emit any events from the UI so as shared flow and uh, emit an event to navigate next so for that we will use event flow emit and our new event is navigate next and passing the route to this event and uh, this emit function is a suspend function so for that we need to call this in the suspend function only so for that we will have first scope here and wrap this in the coroutine method and as we want uh, we can only perform navigation on a ui thread our main thread so we will mention here that we want to do these operation on the ui or main thread okay and the next thing is we need to listen those events on our ui side so here we will define a launch fact method which is a side effect function and in this we have event flow collect latest and uh, and call the navigate next method here and uh, on our main activity this navigate next uh, lambda function will call the nav controller dot navigate method and on our add not new uh, add not view model we need to access that uh, not id so we can access it using this way we will define our in constructor a uh, saved state handle state handle and in our init block of this class we will get our node id from this saved state handle okay so we get our id like this let me verify yes we can we will get our id like this and uh, store store in our <laughs> that id in our uh, let's say store uh, get our new node 
and get our node detail using uh, that ID from the repository. So node repository dot get actually we haven't defined a method in uh, our repository to get a specific item so we will go to our nodes repository and define a method here and get which take item id and return the node model So we are running our item by searching here and uh, we get our ID, get our node by using not ID. So there can be possibility that we won't get uh, our node ID. So if our node ID is minus one then we will return from here because we don't want to do any oper operation further actually it won't allow us to do return so we will make this condition like this if not id is not minus one then we want to get the not details information and update that in our these data member to reflect the changes on the UI. So what we wanna go do is dot title title dot value equal to node dot title and uh, description dot value node dot description. Okay, so that's it. So let's uh, uh, run the app and see the effect. Okay, so let's tap on any item to see its details. So detail is showing at node screen. So press back button and uh, title to on click and uh, it's showing the details. So let's come back and. Uh, the issue that we have uh, facing here is that whenever we press uh, back button then that node will is uh, added in our list again so this is because uh, whenever we have the implemented logic that whenever user tap on this back button then the nodes uh, detail will be inserted in our list but in this case as we are seeing the details of uh, existing node then do we don't want to add that information on our on our uh, in, in our list so what we're gonna do is that uh, we need to apply the um, this check here that uh, in our home view model in save note if value dot id is minus one then that means it's a new node then we want to add that node otherwise we don't want to do anything so let's run it and see it again okay so let's tap on the title one node and press back button but again it's showing here so we have fixed this uh, thing in our home view model let's move towards add node view model and see what information we are passing back to our uh, home screen so in here we are creating this node model and assigning it a minus one so uh, whenever a new uh, any node model return to our previous screen it always get minus one id even user is showing the existing node detail so what we're gonna do is that uh, we need to store that node ID in our private data member. Default by default it would be minus one, and uh, we will save that value from this node ID variable and uh, use it in this model. Now we are passing the correct 
not id to our previous screen so let's run the app and see the effect again okay so now tap on this title to item and uh, we are seeing the detail on not detail screen so by pressing back button the uh, information is not uh, adding again and if we tap on this plus icon and we got an error so what is the error the error is that uh, navigation destination that matches request deep link add not cannot be found in our navigation graph so the issue is that uh, in our main activity we have defined the route of uh, add node like this that we will be passing the node id any id to our this route but when we tap on this uh, fab button floating action button and uh, we are just passing the route only not the and not any id so in that case uh, compose navigation not be able to find that uh, um, route in our navigation of gra graph because we haven't passed any id yet so so for that uh, we need to pass minus one in this route then in that case uh, we are indicating that the, uh, we don't pass passing any node id to the to, to the next screen so the next screen will only be using to add a new node so let's run the app and see the effect again okay so let's tap on this plus icon plus button and uh, add a new node here new title and this is a new node press back button and that new node is added in our list so it's working perfectly so let's tap on this title 3 screen and it's showing the detail of that screen and if we tap though on this node then what will happen that we won't get any node detail but we still have that node in our list one thing and the second thing is it's showing an empty node so the reason why it's showing this empty node a new node is that uh, whenever we come to our add node screen we press back button then we save a new node in our list whether user haven't entered any information so if user haven't added any information in title and description in that case we won't save that note the first thing that we need to do and the second thing that we need to do is that whenever we need to we tab on new note new added note then we are not able to see the detail of that note in our this screen so let's uh, resolve this empty note issue first so for that we need to go to our home view model and uh, apply a check here that uh, if value dot let's do it like this is not empty So if is not empty, if it's true, then we will return from here that we don't want to store that node. Otherwise, we want to store that node. And the next thing is that uh, this uh, new node is uh, new added node is not showing on our node detail screen. So uh, let's see our implementation first and observe what could be the issue. So in our home view model, we have a uh, uh, data member repository which contains instance of node repository and we are using that repository to get all nodes and uh, and uh, okay in, in, in save node we haven't added that uh, node in our repository yet okay so let's first uh, do this step that uh, repository dot insert new item 
so that item will be added in our repository and we uh, and, and on the add not view model we have the same repository instance and using that instance to get the not detail so as now we are adding our repository uh, adding our new node in our repository so that means uh, it is uh, contain uh, our repository containing the updated, updated information so let's run the app now and see the details okay so tap on this plus button and uh, press back button so now this time we are, aren't seeing any empty node here so first uh, problem have been solved and the second problem is uh, we add a new node here new title this is a new node press the back icon to save it so now it's uh, successfully saved also updated added in our repository as well so let's tap on this one and still we won't get any information yet so so what could be the issue that we have the same repository instance here and the same repository instance here but still we won't able to get the node detail so let's uh, pause the video here for just few seconds and uh, think that what could be the possible issue okay okay so hope uh, you will identify something here uh, so let's uh, see uh, let me explain that uh, that that in our uh, both view models we have we are creating the instance of not repository okay and uh, the uh, the issue is that uh, we are always creating new instance when we come to our add new not view model and uh, whenever the new instance is created it only contains that dummy items in the list only so it won't get any not information that is added in our home view model so what we're going to need to do is that uh, we need to implement a singleton design pattern for this node repository so the purpose of that pattern would be that uh, whenever we want to get instance of this node repository we will always get the same instance so how we gonna do is that we will we will create a companion block here companion object block which contains the static data member of this class in this we will create first of all we uh, be, before that we will make the constructor private so you anyone won't create cannot create the instance uh, of the nodes repository in, with in, with constructor so private wall instance actually it would be like this and we create a public method here get instance which would return nodes repository and uh, if instance is null then in that case we want to create the instance of nodes repository and return it and uh, we are facing some error here let's cross this to as nodes repository okay so so whenever we call this get instance method and if that instance underscore instance variable is null then it will create a new instance and assign to it and return it and if it's not null then it will always always return the existing instance which is already created on the first call of this get instance so what we're gonna need to do is that we need to go to these uh, view model and call the get instance method and also go to our add not view model and call here get instance method so in that way we are getting 
single or same instance for bo these both view models so let's run the app and see the effect okay so now let's add a new node here this is a new node and press back button that node have been saved in our repository and so let's tap on this one and we are getting actually we still not getting the information here so let's see in the logs that what could be the issue here because we are doing the required things here actually uh, let's go to our get instance we have made some mistake here that we need to check that if if instance is null then in that case we want to create the instance otherwise we won't so let's print the logs and see the issue here okay so our app is up and running so let's add a new node again this is a new node and press back button that node will be saved and uh, now tap on this item as we are no, not seeing any information here let's uh, see the logs from here okay so we are getting a minus one node id in our init method of uh, add node view model and if we observe closely that in our save node we are pressing minus one id to our save node as well that means that uh, in our home view model when we are casting, ca calling the insert method we are passing the node model which contains minus one id so as because it's a new node so what we were gonna need to do is that uh, we need to first return the id from this method and also create a new id so new id would be items dot size plus one so this would be the next id if we are auto in incrementing the id and uh, create new node by item dot copy id is equal to new id and save that new node here and return the new id and in here what we will gonna do to do is new id this insert method our is returning our new id so we will update that id in our value which we are adding our nodes list which we are presenting in the ui so new value value dot copy id new id and new value so let's run the app and see the effect again okay so now let's add a new node again press back icon so new node had been added so let's tap on this item and we are seeing our new node information here so one last thing left is that uh, whenever we are seeing a node let's say we are seeing this title 3 node if we add any information to this node and press back button back button then that information is not updating in here so the thing is we are have uh, we have implemented the insert functionality but we haven't added the update functionality so for that what we're gonna need to do is we need to go to our nodes repository and uh, create another method here update which take node model so what we're gonna need to do is first 
get the index of uh, this node in from our items so item index equal item stored index of first dot id is equal to item dot id so we got the index of our item in the list so so now update that item update that index with new item and uh, go to our home view model and if node is uh, id is minus one that means we want to add new node otherwise that is a an existing road so in our repository we will update that value and also add that uh, update that value in our nodes list as well which we are presenting to the ui so same thing we need to do here is that first we need to get the item index So we got the index so now we need to update that index with new item so that's it so let's run the app and see the effect okay so let's tap on this existing node and uh, add some information here press back button and that information is reflecting if we tap on this again this is showing as well so let's test it uh, for the new node uh, new, new node as well as well new node this is my node press back icon new node have been added so let's update this one update one updated one press back button and that uh, text information also updated as well so this is it for today's video the little a little recap is in this video we have uh, learned that uh, what is repository why we need repository and uh, implemented the repository and uh, also applied a singleton design pattern of it uh, 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 for the repository and do the completion of uh, insert note and update note on our in, in our app so this is it for today video Thank you for watching. Bye.